is Misha Brendan O'Hara or Mass Media's call up um, Cumber Sergeant is Marag at the moment. Um, my company, it, it really promotes uh, and markets companies that work through the Irish language or bilingual. Um, and you know, we're in a very healthy state of affairs at the moment with regard to the Irish language uh, because I can see amongst younger people especially and amongst business people, they see the value of the language. And indeed, you can see it tonight with, with the likes of Rua who won the awards for, for Rotten Renovio and Dip Workers and all of the other different uh, businesses that were involved here. They, they, want, they need to portray that they value local produce, that they value um, local services, local goods. And nothing, nothing speaks more of who we are um, and where we come from than the Irish language. So there's a fear of the Irish is not on the other side. And what do you think the uh, status of the Irish language is in Ireland now? Is it improving, getting better or worse or all, all in the ground? We've had a lot of a great school. Every town is a great school. So it's a, very, it's a very complex issue. I know. Because, um, there are elements of um, there are strands that, that are doing well. Uh, the development in Wales, but in the uh, throughout the country, uh, is a good news story, no doubt about that. Um, I would say that uh, the attitude of the government uh, towards services to Irish is not so good. Um, and that's to me that's been happening for the last number of years. Um, but I um, whilst the language is uh, growing in, in cities and in urban areas um, um, uh, the younger people, there is a decline in the traditional growth of areas which is very worrying uh, because that is the heart of the so you can go to a community that fully functions to the Irish language is something that if you break that, that tie, um, you, lose, you lose something very, very valuable indeed. And is that due to uh, drop in population or lack of usage? Uh, or both? There are, many, there are many reasons for that. It, basically, the, the, the biggest reason is that um, the pressure is on the minority language. Um, it, it, it becomes inevitable that you know you get it through the media, you get it through people maybe moving into an area which traditionally was an Irish speaking area that wouldn't be um, Irish speakers. Um, you get it through uh, maybe different influences and trends and fashions and all of it. Every little thing of it maybe eats away at a more traditional um, uh, linguistic community. So there are those pressures. Um, and, and that is possibly the most um, worrying aspect of the, the, the Irish language. Have, uh, have uh, the Irish uh, great, uh, read the Radio and Great uh, and uh, Television? Have they helped? Well, without Radio Gaelta and TG Cahar, um, I, I feel that we would be in a, in a worse position than what we are with regard to the Gaelta areas. Um, but, you know, there's a, there's a vast ocean of English language media and entertainment, um, and it's very hard to expect uh, those two stations or two channels, if you like, to, to, to um, fight against that. But TG Carr seems to have a lot of followers by using English programs like rugby and westerns and and they have some great programs. Uh, that must be a great help, is it? Absolutely. Nationwide. Oh, I look at it, I look at it. Yeah. 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 He's doing a fantastic job and, um, uh, and, and, and it's, it's a huge plus. And indeed, as I said, I feel maybe the, the position of the situation for the Wales of areas might be a lot worse if we didn't have had to have those. Do you think the language will survive in 100 years from now? Uh, I do, but uh, whether the Gaelic will survive is a different thing. And what will call cause the demise of the Gaelic? Is it well, lack of jobs? Lack of a lack of speakers, um, people turning maybe to uh, the English language as their, their medium. Um, I don't want to be too pessimistic about it either. Uh, possibly the Gaelic will, will survive in a different way. Um, certainly the Irish language will survive. And, um, it may be more, more urbanised uh, and disparate, but um, 
we also we're, we're moving into a different kind of bed and people keeping in touch online, all that sort of stuff. Um, so it's a different, a difficult question. I certainly think it's very hard to look a hundred years from now. We may, we should look twenty years from now and strategize how can we strengthen the good of the areas that we have. How can we create a greater sense of self worth with the Irish language in those areas? I think that's very important, and I think it's something we should look at. So I think something like Gnome Wayo is, is embedding it in the population. I think Gnome Wayo is doing a fantastic job. Um, and I think if there was an equivalent um, that looked at each wealth of the area and in terms of fostering the spirit amongst um, business uh, in the wealth of the area, that uh, the Irish language became something that they become doubly proud of. Because in fact, the, the, the most startling thing for a lot of people who visit traditional growth of areas is that they speak in Irish to, to whoever is behind the counter and get answered in English. And um, there are a lot of reasons for that, but that happens. And if we could have a Gano we owe model that worked on that throughout the country, that would be a good thing because Gano we owe are doing a fantastic job. So there is reason for optimism. Oh, absolutely. Listen. At the end of the day, and maybe it's not a question of optimism or, or pessimism, it's, maybe it's realism in dealing with what we have. Nothing is absolutely right or wrong, but we have something very valuable uh, in, the, in, in the Irish language and in the Wales of areas. It's worth fighting for.